Bake here and I'm here today with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. It's going to be like a sleek, um, not high, but like kind of like middle head um, ponytail, but it's going to be a braided ponytail um, with some braiding hair. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and add me on Instagram. I'll leave all the details for my social media in the description box below. Um, but if you do um, have any questions, feel free to um, put them down in the comments. But if you do need like a fast response, I do know um, you can you know DM me on Instagram or anything like that. If you um, have any particular questions or anything like that, and or if you want to chat with me or whatever. Yeah, me girl um <laughs> but yeah so um today i'm going to be doing a hair video it's going to be um kind of a tutorial on how to get like a sleek um ponytail like i said it's going to be like mid so it's not going to be super low like back here but it will be you know mid i know like some people like them up here but I necessarily kind of just want it somewhere like in the middle between low and high i like to wear my hair slick back um, cause I like my hair out of my face, so I love hairstyles, you know, that look kind of like, um, it could be day or night, so I could just be, you know, casually going to the store with this hairstyle, or, you know, I could be going out at night, partying, whatever it may be with the same hairstyle, and I love hairstyles like that, um, that's so versatile, so it doesn't even look like you got a lot going on, like, girl, where you going? But then, at the same time, girl, where you going? You know, so, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna be doing that hairstyle. Um, I'm just going to show you the products that I'm going to be using right now. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up a new scarf just because whenever I um, slick down my hair, um, I need to put like a scarf over just to make sure that it's secure and like I don't have like any fuzzies. Like I always struggle with having like little fuzzies just so crinkling up or whatever. So yeah, so I bought a scarf. So when I lay the edges and everything, I'm going to put the scarf on. You want to make sure that you have, you know, brushes of any kind. Um, I use the toothbrush for my edges, of course. And then, you know, just like a regular detangling type of brush and then a smooth down brush. Any type of brush, um, you are going to need some hair scrunchies. Um, probably like two or three. You won't need that many. I'm going to be using um, some jam to lay down my hair. Also some gel. And um, if you need like some braiding hair, so I got my braiding hair off of Amazon just because since I have like the color in my hair, it's just always hard for me to find like, you know, the right color. So I got the hair off of Amazon um, and it came with like eight packs, like I'm not going to use all of them. I just saw that color, I was like, okay, I'm going to get that hair and then it had pretty decent reviews, so I'm nothing bad or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like, it's a good thing because it's kind of like... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like, so it's like um, black hair, but then also, you know, this color hair in it. So my hair is kind of a mixture of both. So that's why I got it. Um, and then kind of at the end, it goes into that more, um, you know, copper, orangish, whatever copper color you want it. Um, so yeah, so I have, I got that. And then of course they always want to come with like, you know, little things. I don't know if I'll be using these. But yeah, so it comes with that. Um, I'll be sure to leave um, the hair that I'm using in the description box below just in case you like that color or like this color or whatever and you want to use, you know, that same color. Um, and it was fairly cheap too. It wasn't, you know, it's probably about $20 and it comes with, you know, all eight packs. So it's a lot of packs or whatever. Um, I don't need that many packs for, you know, this hairstyle. So it'll be perfect. You want to keep doing this hairstyle and you keep, you know, going through the packs or whatever. So like I said, so I'll be sure to put that in the description box below. Oh yeah. And then also the gel that I'll be using is the Ultra Defining Gel from Diva Curl. So those are all the products that I'll be using um, in this video. So yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, we do just wanna go ahead and sleep down the ponytail. So I have uh, my hair scrunchie. I have like, it's like a big hair scrunchie. It's really big. Just because I like to double it and then make it secure and make it really tight. Um, but so first we're just gonna lay down the hair. I'm gonna be taking some of that gel that I just told you guys about So the ultra fine gel and I'm just gonna be putting that through the top parts of my hair And your hair doesn't particularly have to be straight. Um, I would probably say the best, um, let's say if you you know don't want to go over it with a flat iron, would be to um, you know blow dry it, just so you can um, make sure that it's you know flat. Because I'll be braiding my hair with the braiding hair, so if my hair, see my hair is naturally clear, so it wouldn't you know kind of match. If that makes sense. 
so um, that's why I wanted to um, you know do a while my hair is particularly like this but by all means if it works for you or if you do have like shorter type of hair um, you know that will blend when it's wet by all means you can do it that way or if you have some old straightened hair like me it works too and I have this particular brush, um, it's a table teaser brush, just so I can make sure that I get all of the kinks. Cause you know, sometimes you put your hair in a ponytail and then it has like lumps in between. So I wanna make sure I get all those lumps out of my hair. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put some gel on the bottom. I think this is probably like the hardest part because then your hands get all tired. Um, just because you want to make sure that it's really sleek. All right, now I'm gonna take some of my jam. Just to give it some of that extra hold. Um, I usually put that like more in the front. That's where I get like the curlies that be coming up. Um, more so like in the front. Once you feel like you have it as sleek as you can, then take your hair scrunchie. Scrunch it up. Make sure it's like tight and not really loose. it's still it's high but it's not like on top of my head so that's where I want it and then that's when I'll take some more of my jam sometimes I have to have my hair like in the ponytail already and then it's easier for me to you know lay the hairs down because it's like secure like versus when it's like all out and loose and then you're trying to secure it we want to go ahead and now we're going to do the edges before we um put the scarf on. So I do just like to take out the hairs first. Then you can take your edge control or gel or whatever you actually use to do your edges. I just finished doing my edges and now I'm going to um, put on the scarf. All right, so I re-secured my ponytail. Oof, maybe how, you know how you like tighten it up? give me like a headache or maybe the scarf is giving me a headache I don't know but yeah and for the hair so like I said it came with like eight different pieces of um, braiding hair so like depending on how thick you want your um, braid to be would be depending on if you get the same hair as me um, would be you know depending on how many packs you use I don't want my braid to be super fat but I don't want it to be super thin so um, I think I'll probably just be using, well, it depends. Let me see. I just need to see how thick it is first. So the hair is pretty like this much length. Now this one, instead of having like, sometimes it'll have like a rubber band in the middle, it has like a elastic little twisty thing. So of course I'm gonna take that out. So I'm gonna take Red Scrunchie and I'm gonna put it between the hairs um, once I took the elastic out. Um, so I'm just gonna take the scrunchie and put it kind of like this. So I kind of looped the scrunchie with the hair. So now it's like this. And I have like the two sides. All right, and I am going to put the scrunchie on my hair. I 
don't think it's gonna let me do it one more time. Let me try. Okay, so it's pretty secure on there. Okay, so right now, I just put the um, scrunchie on and I kind of moved my hair on top of, of the weave. So right now, I'm just gonna take some of my hair like this and this is I'm gonna wrap it around now to actually hide the elastic and then secure that with a body pin now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna start to braid but first what we're gonna have to do is kind of like split the weave into like three different sections and it's kind of hard because it's like a lot of hair so you're just like wanting to make sure everything's even because if it's not then it could be like all bulky and everything i'll separate the weave kind of in three spots and then i'll do my hair and then you know with my hair in three spots i will make sure to add it with the weave okay so now I have somewhat <laughs> three different sections. All right, so now we are going to start braiding. Also, if you are doing the braid and you kind of notice some of your hair is poking out or anything like that, um, you can kind of. Um, it while you're braiding or you can fix it at the end by tucking it. And your arms do um, start to get tired real quick. I'm not even gonna lie. Once the hair starts to kind of like thin out in, in one particular section, that's where I will add um, more hair. I don't want it to be super long. I still want to kind of give it that uh, natural type of look. So I'm just gonna add um, additional piece of hair um, since one of the pieces is thinning out. Now, um, with the piece of hair that you are adding, you're gonna add, so I'm adding it to this piece. As you can see, this piece is a little bit thinner than the other ones. So I'm just gonna put it like underneath. So one section, and then with another section of the other half of the hair, if that kind of makes sense. I am not the best braider, so I just kind of added it in. I hope that makes sense. Um, so my fingers are like starting to cramp up. Oh my gosh. So I think I'm just gonna add like one more piece of hair, and like some of the pieces of the weave are like. Out. So I'm just like, oops. You can put like some gel or jam on it to kind of um, hide or tuck the pieces. And then once you finish braiding it all the way down, then we're gonna go ahead and put an elastic on it. You can do a rubber band or you can do a hair scrunchie. And I went ahead and cut the ends. I tried to like cut them in like a V type of shape so that it kind of doesn't just look like you cut it across. Um, and then I'm just kind of going by just to make sure my hair is tucked, but then you can also, you know, um, thick, oops, thicken the braid a little bit um, just to pull and make it look a little messy so it's so it's not like super neat. I don't even want it mine to go kind of past this area. I didn't want it to go like all the way down to like my hip or anything. So. Um, here is my braid. Now we can go ahead and take this off. This has kind of low-key been giving me like a headache. I think I tied it too tight. <sighs> Alright, and I'm just gonna fixing any pieces that did kind of get messed up. I think for the most part the hair stayed. The baby hair stayed where they should have stayed. I'm just gonna get another close-up of the braid and if you you know if you see like any flyaways or anything like that 
Um, or if you see any pieces hanging out, I tried to make it look a little messy, like not messy, messy, but you know, just kind of like, oh, that's your hair, <laughs> like more natural, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So um, if you see like any pieces of hair, I didn't want it to look, you know, perfect, but I did want it to look really sleek. Um, and then my hair is kind of like on top and then it kind of goes into like the reddish hair. You guys can see, so it goes like to here. But I think it came out actually really well. Overall, I really like it. Um, it was just a, it's like an easy, quick hairstyle you can actually wear. And like I said before, it's kind of like a hairstyle that is daytime and nighttime. So if I'm just going to the store, I could just you know go to the store if I want to get dolled up. This is the perfect hairstyle as well. If you guys want, you can also add like some dazzle stuff on it. I really wasn't going to add any. I will be sure to leave all the products that I use down in the description box below, as well as the hair that I bought. And I was really surprised at with this hair, um, with my trials and errors that I go through. Um, it actually didn't really tangle up as much as I thought it was because my fingers were like cramping up a little bit and I was like, oh my gosh. But <laughs> it actually didn't um, really tangle up like I thought it was. So it's actually really good hair. So if you guys really want to check that out, I will put it in the description box below. And also thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. But also thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys at my next upload. Bye!